Hey, good morning everyone. It's Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest, bringing you another video you can use to help our environment one yard at a time. Today uh, I wanted to talk about uh, butterfly weed, Asclepias tuberosa. So this is a member of the milkweed family. Uh, this is a plant that, uh, as you can see, is in full bloom right now, almost full bloom right now. Uh, it's covered in beautiful orange flowers. Uh, these flowers are very attractive to all kinds of pollinators, uh, bees, moths, butterflies. Uh, they come to this for the, uh, the nectar. And uh, this, you know, this is a, in the milkweed family. So this is another plant that's going to be used by monarch butterflies as a host plant. So later in the season, you know, uh, when you come out, you're going to you're going to notice this a lot of times looking kind of scraggly, getting ate up. But if you look very closely, uh, a lot of times you'll find the monarch caterpillars feeding on this. And monarchs exclusively feed on members uh, of uh, the milkweed family, Sclepius, and there are a few different species of Sclepius. Uh, so th this particular plant is native to the northeastern United States. This is a plant that's really easy to grow. Uh, prefers sandy, uh, drier soils. Full sun. It's going to do great in full sun. It's not going to. It's not going to do so well in soils that are uh, that are are wet or soggy, heavy clay soils or anything like that. Uh, it, I mean, it, it might survive for you, but it's really going to thrive in full sun and, uh, you know, sandier soils. Uh, no, uh, another thing about this plant is once you plant it, uh, you, you want to make sure that you put this in a location where it, you want it to remain because these do develop uh, a very long taproot. So uh, you can't really, tr these don't transplant. Uh, I mean, I've i tried a long time ago before I kind of realized, you know, about the taproot and all that. And uh, they've, I never was successful at transplanting these. I definitely would never recommend you trying to transplant these from the wild if you find one in the wild. Uh, these, these actually uh, germinate real easy from seed. I've had a lot of luck uh, germinating these and a lot of different milkweeds from seed, actually. And you can come out here in the fall when they get those uh, seed pods that are so distinctive on milkweeds. And you can gather those up. And uh, you can uh, cold stratify them, uh, and then and, and sow them uh, either the next year. You can, or you can just put them around your garden, uh, or you can grow, grow them in a greenhouse, or you can grow them under lights, anything like that. They sprout up real easy. Um, I've actually bought some at uh, local box stores. I you can find seeds there, and I've had really high success uh, germination rates on those. So uh, one of the things that's uh, fascinating about this plant is uh, it has toxins in it uh, and uh, which makes it you know the insects that feed on this uh, toxic to uh, bird you know and uh, birds won't prey on them as much they, you know they're going to be poisoned to eat and uh, you know the monarch butterfly is one of the uh, uh, most well-known pollinators that are going to feed on this but there are also other uh, beneficial insects that'll uh, that'll feed on this so uh, this is a plant that I highly recommend. I've got a bunch of it coming in here this year. I planted, uh, I just this year alone, I planted at least uh, 14 more plants. Uh, it's going to take them a couple years to get established. Uh, this, this one's probably, I think this is its third year. So it's doing really well. It's probably about uh, two feet high, two and a half feet high, about two feet wide. And, uh, and then here's another one. This one I just grew from seed this year. Got it out here. Um, I got another one coming in here. This is from last year. And last year, I would say I probably counted uh, at least uh, 25 monarch caterpillars out here. And that not just on this plant, but on all the milkweed that I have planted in my yard. And I have a couple different species. It's best to have uh, several different species. So look in your area. You know, there's common milkweed, there's swamp milk, milkweed, there's butterfly weed. There's showy milkweed. There's a lot of different kinds of milkweed. So look look up in your area. You can go to the USDA plants website. Uh, look up plants there. You can go to the National Wildlife Federation's plant finder. Look for milkweeds in, that are indigenous to your area and plant them around your yard. And you're going to be amazed at how much uh, life they attract in your yard. It, you're, it's going to be amazing. Kids love to come out here and see butterflies and caterpillars especially and, and watch that whole life cycle. And uh, it's a great plant. Highly recommend it. You know, once it's established, you're not going to have to water it at all. I mean, I will never have to water this plant. So it's great for, on, uh, you know, limiting the use of natural resources. So there you go. Quick morning video for you. This is Butterfly Weed, Asclepius tuberosa. Hope you have a great day. Uh, leave your comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Share it.
uh, and appreciate everybody subscribe to my channel. Hope you have a great day. Bye.